Good morning everybody. I hope you're all well. I hope you're all safe. Um, I feel like I haven't filmed in a while. It's been about a week I think. Maybe like five days. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling a lot better now. A lot more positive. Um, and a lot less hormonal which is nice. Um, so yeah, this morning, well actually I just thought I'd vlog I think the next few days. Um, I mean there's nothing really happening. I'm back working now which is nice. So this morning I filmed a little get ready with me, which will be on IGTV already, I think, depending on when this goes up. Um, and I showed you guys how I did my hair like this, um, and also my quick like working from home makeup. Um, and yeah, apart from that, it's just gonna be very chilled. I am doing a little bit of work at the minute um, at my desk, and then I need to tidy up. And I think it's gonna be quite a chilled, again, a quite chilled vlog, just, yeah, come quarantine with me. <laughs> Um, so I'm just sending some files over to someone that need to be sent over and I'm actually going to go and make a coffee because I, I'm the kind of person where I either absolutely, oops, um, absolutely love coffee or cannot stand it and I'm in a love period for it right now. So I'm going to go make an iced coffee. It's also such nice weather. I don't know where you guys are, but, um, I'm down in the south of England. Is that right? Yeah, like south of London and it's literally been like blue skies for... I want to say the last 10 days which is so nice and so like mood changing for me um anyway right I'm gonna go make a coffee and then um we'll crack on with the day okay so this is how I'm having my coffee at the minute in the morning this is Johnny's very intense Sage coffee barista mix. pro touch and I did bought it for me at Christmas she's a very generous young lady yeah I did buy it um although this coffee is way too strong for me I am a basic bitch and I like instant so but that said this is the best coffee in the world so I have to have Selfish. it with milk so this is um oatly oat milk and then some ice and then I just stick it in the Nutribullet and stick it in there for me honey <whistles> this is what it ends up looking like um it's really yummy but I need to get some sugar-free vanilla or caramel syrup. I'm just doing a little bit of work, as I said, um, picking out some clothes and also sending some files. And then I'm going to tidy this room up. And then I think we're going to have a little barbecue later, which would be nice. Um, and a few packages arrived today. But let me click on with this and then I'll chat to you guys in a second. <laughs> through so one is gifted which is from neon and then the other one um it's from my favorite company i get all my silk pillowcases and my silk scrunchies from this brand um and they have the most gorgeous things um i don't know you guys have probably heard about slip silk who do like really cute silk scrunchies and pillowcases and they're lovely but this company really don't um do basically the exact same I mean they do the exact same but it's a lot more affordable in my opinion and the quality is so nice and look at this branding hold on let me show you so they're called the napco i don't know if i said that but look how pretty it is um so i already have quite a few pillowcases and, and scrunchies from them um but when my face was healing and i scratched it i obviously got blood on the pillow and it was on my silk pillow which is so annoying so I bought a few more cases from there okay so I just picked up two of their standard pillow cases um in white they have loads uh, not loads but they have quite a few different colors and um yeah but I always go for white because our bedding's white but look at this silk it's so so beautiful it's honestly it's so soft it's an absolute dream to sleep on like honestly um I've got all my friends well I'm trying to get everyone that I know onto sleeping in silk because it's so good for your skin it's so good to prevent like wrinkles and also in as well I'm going to really enjoy it throughout summer because when you sleep on like a cotton pillowcase I feel like the pay the, the case can get really hot but these stay like room temperature or cold like all night so they're really really nice to sleep on um so I picked up two of them and then I'm not sure what this is I think oh it's the little scrunchie as well 
also, I already, let me show you actually. I have this little glass pot that sits at the side of my bed. Um, and I keep all my scrunchies in there, but I think they've just sent me a white one as well, which is so nice of them, because I definitely didn't order this, but so pretty. So yeah, these always just sit next to my bed, and I'm a silk lover. So Neom very kindly sent me all of these amazing bits. Um, so I have a diffuser, which is the de-stress scent. This is the scent that I put um, in my office diffuser. And then two really big candles, this is the happy one. So I used to have the reed diffuser of this one in my office as well, it smells amazing. And then this one is the energy scent and then also some little oils. So um, I can put these with water into my oil burner or I have my, let me show you. I have this neon diffuser that sits here and I put this on every night with the sleep scent or just whatever scent I'm in the mood for. So that was very amazing to receive. Um, let me know down below if you guys want a nighttime routine or I guess I could include it in this video and just kind of show you what I'm doing in the evenings. Let me turn you around. I'm definitely more of an evening ritual person than a morning. Um, my mornings tend to kind of vary very bright but in the evenings I have a really nice like routine and it means I get a good sleep every night and um yeah so if you want to see that I might include it in this one or if not I can do a whole video in the next one um yeah anyway I'm gonna go downstairs now and get some oh uh, wait you want to see Beanie you want to say hi who's this who is it <laughs> it always sits up in this room this is what Johnny has cooked up so we have skewers, salad, asparagus and drumsticks. We were gonna sit outside but um let me show you. So our garden's only like sunny over there and we want to sit here. So we're gonna sit inside and then head out later when it's a bit warmer. Guys we have a wild beanbag. He is chilling to the max. Looking very impressed into the camera. Mr Bean! Mr Bean sir, what are you doing? You're in quarantine. You and puppy quarantine. Mm hmm. Mm. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'm very red. I just took my makeup off. Um, it's turned out to be. A, oh my god, I look ginger. It turned out to be a very, very chill day. Um, I did a lot of work this morning, which feels so nice to like ease myself back into it and get back on top of it. So that was good. And then I had a little um, FaceTime chat with my mum and my sister and now johnny and i are well, we were going to sit outside and have a drink and play a game <laughs> but it's not actually that warm in our garden so we're doing that but inside um he's just hoovering that sign right here because i just smashed a glass by accident anyway so from our neon order that they sent us we're gonna put this diffuser downstairs but i think we've actually yeah we've run out of our diffuser i always have some on the shelves and we have candles but we've run out of them i think i've been the last one the other day so um this is the de-stress scent which i actually think will be nicer in the bedroom but it'll be nice down here for a little while as well so i think we're going to sort this out and then um have a really chilled afternoon really it's five o'clock already so it's a nice kind of like wind down time um wind down time <laughs> wind down wine down yeah i've got a glass of wine as well i'm just trying to cut down a little bit because it's i want to try and keep treating monday through thursday like work how many beers have you had then? It's the first beer I've had in a week. Okay, so I've shown you guys so many, well I think I've shown you quite a lot of diffusers on here that I love. Um, but no one beats the look of the neon diffusers, I just think they're so pretty. What? Just sponsored that. No, they gifted me okay. it, but Can I've I already- disagree? Yeah, you can of course. Can I show them my favourite? Yeah, I don't like yours. Johnny loves Bamford, which is another amazing company. Um, they have the most amazing scents and I actually discovered them in Miami like three years ago. I didn't realise they're a British company and I bought stuff for Johnny from there and took them back from America. But this for a bathroom diffuser. Yeah, for bathroom. So fresh. You wouldn't want that in the lounge though. So would you? fresh, so fragrant. It does last for ages that one as well. And the other one which is my actual favourite of the diffuser is the Tom Dixon one. But it's run out. The charcoal that goes in it. Yeah. You bought me. You bought me out. No, I was gonna, and you said not oh, you to. Told you told me about it. Yeah. <laughs> Read diffuser because this isn't something I knew when I started using these years ago. Um, dip them in like this, and then flip them around so the scent is on both sides. But hang on. What? Also, the more you put in, the quicker you're going to use it, and the more powerful the smell is. So how powerful do you want? No, the I want them all oh, in. They're all. They're all in. So dip them, and yeah, then they're all in. Take them back out and flip them and put them in this way. 
And then every, I would say like, I don't have any set amount of time, but whenever I remember it, um, I'll just flip the reeds around again and it keeps the scent smelling really lovely and strong. But yeah, this is what it looks like. This is, as I think I said earlier maybe, this is the de-stress um, scent, which I have in my office quite a lot in my oil diffuser and also in the bedroom. I think it's just such a nice smell. So yeah, that is the first thing. I'm gonna do a whole separate video though, I've decided today. Um, I know I said earlier I might do um, the, my evening routine on this video, but I'm very out of focus. Um, I'm gonna actually just do a whole separate routine because I think it might be a nice thing for you guys to see. Um, anyway, where should we put this then? I'm slipping away so don't let me go now, 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 now. I'm all up in that love hey so where do we go now, now? just let me know that I am safe here in your arms I wanna stay stay I'm slipping away so don't let me go now the love is good morning so I mean it's not morning actually I think it's like two o'clock in the afternoon but it is the next day um <clears throat> I have literally spent the day cleaning I feel like that's all I do with my life um I clean my bathroom which I'm really needed done and um now I am about to sort out some clothes but yeah I've just kind of been organizing my life I'm really I love it when things are clean so in here um I was just sorting out everything um sorted out all my perfumes how satisfying is that um and then yeah just cleaned around here and then i also flipped this rug around in my office because it's it was really nice and like really soft and fluffy um but obviously with wear and tear it's kind of gone like matted so i've put the side that was here at the back of the sofa and um it looks a little bit nicer now and it's so much more softer but um yeah this rug's gonna go straight in the bin um when i move i don't like it at all but yeah, I think it's fine for the minute, so it's nice and soft again. So my next task is this rail, which you guys have probably seen quite a lot, um, holds kind of like my wardrobe overspill, and in winter I have all my coats on it, and then in summer I just put like things that don't fit in the wardrobe or the things that I wear like the most. Um, so I'm going to put all of these under the bed in here, and then I'm going to take out the summer stuff that I want from under here. Um, under this bed is absolute carnage. There's literally no rhyme or rhythm. Like it's just a dumping ground for all my summer clothes. So this is gonna be quite a task, I think, to try and take out what I want to be wearing and leave stuff that's for like summer holidays in there. Okay, so this is what's under the beds. At the back is like duvets and stuff. And this whole section is like boxes full of my summer clothes. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna pull out some of the bits that I know I want to wear throughout spring, summer. So for example, that H&M dress that everybody loved. Um, I'm obviously gonna be wearing stuff like this. So I want to start pulling out what I want to wear over the next few months. just trying on some bits that I pulled out and oh my god this dress I remember wearing this so much last year um it's from H&M it definitely will not be online right now but they might come back out with it this summer because last year um it sold out like three or four times and it kept coming back in um but yeah I literally love it I can't wait for like proper summer clothes so I've done a little bit of a swap over um it doesn't look very aesthetic but I've just pulled out some of the bits that I know I will reach for um over the next little while. I am currently using this little machine, not machine, um, thing, which I saw someone use on Instagram. It's basically what you put, so you know when you do gel nails and then you um, put acetone on to get them off. So basically I've absolutely wrecked my nails. Nail update. I've absolutely wrecked them. Um, they're really sore and thin because I basically keep putting gel on and I just keep picking at it, which is so stupid. So I'm deciding to take them completely off and just let them heal for like maybe a week. We'll see how long I can last. So this is something that you paint on and it's meant to like crumble the gel. Um, and then you just use the scraper and take it off rather than having to like wrap your fingers in acetone. And I saw someone use it on Instagram and it actually looks really good, but it's not that good. 
it's, I've had to put it on like three times now there so it is kind of working I'm just um taking my time with it and then I'm gonna have a little break from gels because yeah um I mean let me try and show you this now <laughs> okay that nail there is so short like honestly I've never had that nail so short same with this one here it's just like really sore and short um so yeah I think they just need some TLC so I'm gonna take this off and then I'm gonna just use like an oil on them for the next few days but it's so nice outside so I'm gonna pour myself a glass of wine in a minute it's three minutes till four o'clock three minutes until it's acceptable to drink wine in my opinion um and I'm gonna sit out and read my book this book actually it's called my lovely wife it's mm, no it's it's okay it's fine it's not the best but it is um a nice little like kind of horror thriller read it's not hugely gripping but it's doing the job so yeah i'm just scraping these off now and then i'm gonna go outside and read Sit. Ready? Good boy, you ready? Go get it! <laughs> it is a lot while later now. Actually, it's probably only about an hour later. Um, and Johnny's doing some gardening, which is nice. You okay? Um, it's a bit colder as well, so I've put on my leggings and t-shirt, which is actually very annoying because we literally only get like two really good hours of sun in this garden. It's honestly, this is so ridiculous, first one problem, but it's honestly one of the main reasons I'm ready to leave this house because I love sitting outside in summer, but there's no sun ever in this garden. So anyway, um, yeah, I've just been reading my book, having some wine, watching my very gorgeous husband do the gardening with his top off, which is a treat. <laughs> um, and we're gonna head in a minute and cook some dinner. Hello Poppet! Hey! Beanie's going a bit mad. He's having a funny five minutes. <laughs> Let me show you. Ready? You ready? Go get it! <laughs> okay, so I am just editing this vlog back and I actually don't think it needs any more in it than what we already have. So I'm gonna sign it off here. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, I'll leave whatever I've mentioned and things as normal down below. Um, I just want to say, because I don't think I ever really do this, but if you guys want to see more of me um, and more of kind of like the fashion content and stuff, head over to my Instagram. I will pop it my handle right here um yeah and make sure to give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe and i will see you all in the next video bye